did you get involved with the show Little Women LA? Well, uh, I got involved with the show Little Women LA. Actually, it was Tara and myself's idea. It was our idea. We put it together. We filmed this little sizzle reel. And um, Tara went and pitched it to a production company that contacted her through a, um, what a, a casting call that she put out there for the show. So they contacted her because they saw that she was doing a casting call for little people. And we actually asked all of our friends that we knew who we worked with, hung out with, close with, cool with. And um, I think like four or five of them responded. And so that's how I, we filmed a sizzle reel here at my home. And she pitched it to the production company. And they signed us. And then it was a bidding war with six different networks that wanted the show. And that's how it went. In fact, to be honest with you, I'm the one who actually um, picked out the names. First, I said Little Ladies of L.A. And, and then Little Women L.A. I was torn, before, torn between both of those names. And we... We filmed it with Little Women, Little Ladies LA, but then when the network picked it up, they chose Little Women LA. What is the show about? Well, the show is about, it's a reality show, which given um, our viewers a glimpse of our lifestyle. Um, just everything from our perspective. Even though we're short, we're not dumb. We're um live regular lives we have family kids um you see marriage we we um showcase pregnancies you know um to just really to educate our viewers letting them know letting them know that the word midget is unacceptable that is very degrading and we like to be called either by our names or consider it little people, because we're, that's exactly what we are. We're people, we're just little. So just to give uh, the fans and the supporters and the viewers a chance to come in our homes and be involved in our lives and just show you how we handle situations and how we deal with it and that how we adapt to the world, because the world is not going to adapt to us. And also answer a lot of those questions that we've received from a lot of people. They they ask us a lot of questions. So we try to address those questions on, on the show. Why do you think it's important to have representation in the media? Well, um, I have representation for the media because the simple fact that... Um, the show people see you and when they look at the show they think that that's us totally but they don't get a get a chance to see a lot of what we're all about um a lot of the scenes and stuff that don't make it to the editing table and it just helps kind of filter out you know, especially a lot of those haters. <laughs> what has been your favorite episode to film so far? Um, it's been quite a few. Uh, the Hawaii episode when we was in Hawaii for Elena's vow renewal. Oh, and my best one was my boss's back. The boss's back party. Um, it was like it was supposed to be a um wet what is it a bridal shower but since i didn't get married and we kerwin and i separated they called it a boss's back party and we were turned up i enjoyed myself to the fullest it it was better than any bachelorette party or you know wedding party that they could have 
ever done. Since the show is on its eighth season, why do you think it has been so successful? I think it's been successful, one, because it is a reality. Uh, it's, it is our reality. Um, our friends, our friendship with the cast, we've all known each other for years. So we have um, invested, um, what is it, invested interest. Um, we work together, hung out together. So we have a lot of... Um, we have a natural chemistry. It's not like they put people together and was like, okay, let's do a show. No, we we were friends for real. Um, actually, Elena and Jasmine, they were newbies. I didn't know them prior to the show. But for the most part, um, and they're a good fit, you know. So I ended up um, being really, really close and cool with them, so... All my cast members are cool. I mean, you know, I have to get in their ass sometime, but for the most part, they're cool people. Can you tell us about the companies you've created? Well, first I started off with my uh, activewear line, my um, workout line, Little Boss Body Activewear. That started because I um, had a personal trainer to help me get in shape for the simple fact that I'm I am one the older the oldest of the cast members and you know I had to make sure my stamina was up to par where I can keep up with them heifers. Well actually I'm faster than them heifers. But anyway I think I'm in better shape than all of them. But anyway I ain't gonna brag but <laughs> um I started off with the active wear line because it was hard to find stuff that active wear line that would fit me that I didn't have to do alterations or adjustments on. So I was like, let me create something that everybody could wear. All sizes. I don't like to leave anyone out. So I created the active wear line. It was it was hard. It was a struggle. It took um a good three years to really get it off the um get it up and running. And also, with the wine, the Latanya Renee red wine, which I'm working on getting other um, blends, like a Moscato, a Champagne, a Bubbly, a Resolent. I mean, I, I want a line of wine, so I'm still working on that. Um, the wine came up, I didn't really start drinking wine until I was, to like 2011, and I was gearing toward more of the sweet wines. And so I noticed that a lot of the restaurants didn't have the sweet wine. It was a lot of dry, bitter, leather, smoky taste wines, which I wasn't really into. So I decided to create my own wine and get it into the restaurants where I um, that I patronize. And so that way, when I go to these restaurants, I can ask for my Latanya Renee and have the wine that, of my choice. What is your favorite part about entrepreneurship? Woo, um, my favorite part is being the boss and making all the changes, doing, um, don't, I don't have to depend on someone else's opinion or, um, as far as partnership, I have total control. I, as you guys know, I love total control of my life, my projects, and anything I put my hands on. Do you have any advice for aspiring entrepreneurs? Ooh, it's a lot of work, a lot of dedication. Stay focused, have to be consistent. And don't give up because it was a, a few times I wanted to throw in the towel and say, forget it. But I had invested my money and my time and my blood, sweat, and tears. But just stay focused and just know it's, it's a profit and loss. Do your research um, before you jump in with both feet like I did, which caused me to lose a lot of money because I didn't know everything about it. 
So just do your research before you, um, and start small, you know, you know, a little old me tried to go big, but you, you gotta start small and see see how it sells before you start producing a lot. Are you currently working on any other projects you'd like to share with us? Yes, I've dabbled my hands into producing. So I'm producing a play called Roxy. I'm one of the producers the play called Roxy, which we're um, working on making it a series, a sitcom as well. So those two items, I am the projects, the play and the sitcom I'm currently working on, as well as a couple of other things that I don't want to um, talk about until I'm closer to completion with it, completing it. Um, and just exercise in boxing. I'm taking boxing lessons now, so uh, to get myself in shape, and it's fun. Where can viewers find you on social media? Well, you can hit my website. You could join and subscribe to my website, which is www.tanya, T-O-N-Y-A, Renee, R-E-N-E-E. -E banks b a n k s dot com go to my website and you can get to all my social medias get um subscribe to it and you get on my email list where i will inform everyone what i'm doing where i'll be showing up at if i'm doing meet and greets or pop-up stores or anything if i'm going to be on radio or podcast anything that um, any upcoming events or anything that I'm involved with, I will shoot you an email through my website. Thank you.